family is very important to our our people here in Nolado. And uh, just just this past week, we had uh, a stick dance, the memorial potlatch. It starts on Monday and it ends on Sunday, and that's a very important part of our our life, our, our society in Nolado. It's kind of economical, it's uh, cultural, it's family, it's a little bit of everything that the stick dance is. That's really a, a really a sacred thing to us. After we lose someone, the elders said that those people are called back. Whenever people start talking about the stick dance, when they're starting to meet to talk about it, it excites them. And so uh, it, so we don't really talk about it, but uh, I'll explain a little bit, just, you know, just so that people will understand how we live in Nolato. But a little bit of happiness to us is a lot of joy to them. And a little bit of crying to us is a lot of sorrow for them. So we try to be real careful with all that, especially during the stick dance. That's how we uh, express our love and our respect and how much we value family by, uh, by honoring people who helped us out when we uh, experienced a loss you know, in our family. We keep in mind who helped us out a lot, who helped us out the most, and we try to make sure that everybody gets a little something uh, Usually handmade, they make um, slippers and uh, gloves and be with beads and fur, and then we pass those out. And that way, we extend our family relations uh, to that to them. So it takes a long time to make a potlatch, not just not just a few months. You know, it takes years. The stick dance is so important to us, like family, family relationships, that's the really important thing. So because of that, we have to, I think we have a responsibility to keep it going. Our tradition with subsistence, going after subsistence foods and everything, is really important to us because we depend on that. Um, it's always busy, subsistence fall from June to September, we're busy putting away fish and meat. We have a lot of respect for the land because the land is what provides us our food, you know. So we have to take care of our land and now that I'm more educated with my job, I'm able to teach it. Being here at the tribe, we do have a culture camp in August, and that's where like every every kid in town will go and stay in camp for a week, and we're teaching them how to cut fish, teach them how to trap and hunt. And last year, the girls, it was like the first day, we have an elder that taught the girls like how to bake bread. They showed, she said, just take notes of what I'm measuring, because tomorrow you're gonna start baking. Try to take kids out that don't, you know, uh, their parents don't have um, the means to take them out and teach them. Just for them to be able to understand and know the process of what it takes to prepare this food because we're gonna be, you know, eating it throughout the winter. We have to respect everything that we, we get from the river or from the land. And that's the number one thing is just respect and being able to take care of it from the minute that you take an animal to until it's put in our freezer. And that's what we're teaching the kids, so that's really important. And they understand that now. They know. So this year, our goal is to do more environmental education at the school, and that's what we're doing is trying to get that bond with the youth, because they're the ones that, you know, that will be, this is their land. This is what they're going to be living on, you know, making a living from when they get older and they know that they have to take care of the land now. The funding is where we're, you know, we only have so much of it. And if we can get more funding to continue to do this, I think um, that would be just the best. If we could just find more funding to help us um, 
continue on our traditions. So. The Nolata Hills Enterprises came about with a work group that we put together, which included um, myself, the current tribal administrator, um, the former tribal administrator, our first chief, and the controller of the tribe. And we all work together and we all have a good understanding of Nolato and what our people and our values are. And um, it took us uh, maybe six months to get to a, you know, a point to where we had our own vision and our mission and the, the strategic plan to move forward and we talked about what are our values as a culture and we used those values to identify lines of business that we're interested in um, that we'd like to pursue. Um, so some of the things are obvious, um, our language, our language is dying. And, um, we've retained a language um, specialist to start our language program and we're looking, currently looking at opportunities. We're also looking at providing transportation services, which is a big deal. Um, many of these villages have substandard roads, like there's a huge dust issue. So we're looking to provide transportation services to not only create opportunity here through jobs um, and other funding opportunities, but also to for the health purposes. Um, the third line of business that we've set up is it's a promotional products system, or service and that stems directly from our stick dance um, on the last day of, well the second to the last day of the stick dance we you know we have a large giveaway and it's anything from cups and pens and shirts and things like that um, but our people are going elsewhere to buy these you know wherever they can and we feel that we could provide it you know a better price and a better opportunity for our people to buy from themselves and support themselves will also create more job opportunities. Um, we have so many talented tribal members that they have to move away just because they don't have housing or they don't have jobs and you know with the abundance of the trees and lumber or timber that we do have here you know we could start using that to create housing and just by using that you're also creating the jobs that would go with it and so we were looking at um, this venture in two ways, one from a not-for-profit side, the tribal council, and then from a for-profit side, which would be the Nolato Hills Enterprises. And so by putting those together, I believe we can provide more services and more job opportunities for the tribal membership. As a people, we need to continue our cultural tradition. Uh, the language, the language is dying. Very few people can speak it. Only the elders who are, even some people in their 60s don't really speak, but they could understand. Um, and we have a lot of environmental issues around in, around Nolato. Uh, we, we, we just had a big fire last year. It burned all the way around the perimeter of town. And uh, we're gonna need to get, to get that cleaned up and, um, and fixed up. We have lots of issues with dust control in the summertime. Uh, we have all gravel roads and we have a lot of vehicles in Nolato, so when it gets hot and dry, the sand comes up and it's, it's almost hard to breathe because there's so much sand. Uh, our community hall, as we can, as we can just tell from the last, last week, it was so packed in there uh, and the floor is kind of iffy, so that's another issue. Uh, we also have, uh, Housing, housing is a really uh, big thing. A lot of people leave Nolato because there's no no housing available. I want to have uh, adequate service uh, court tribal court services 
I want to be able to do something about the dust, about to control the dust. That's good. Uh, that's a big problem. And uh, alcohol and drug abuse is a big issue, and um, and then it causes sometimes it causes uh, violence and um, abuse of other things, you know. And I don't like. I want to be able to control that in some way. I see more younger people stepping up and wanting to learn. So um, just knowing that we're teaching the younger generation is, it means so much more than anything. It's just happiness in itself. My mother has been a teacher in the community here and she's now retired. But for you know, 25 years, um, she was a certified teacher and another 10 as a substitute before that. Um, there are people like my grandfather um, who was um, he helped create the tribal council for Nolato and other things. Um, um, my uncle Peter is the former uh, tribal administrator, you know, and I just I feel like I I, I could I have something to offer that I could help with um, those with those um, endeavors that that we're working on uh, that have been worked on. And I feel like I can build on the things that they've provided in the past. And people just have so much pride for their community, um, you know, with the stick dance and with the other traditional things that we do throughout the year. I feel like if we have more job opportunities, uh, then we'll have a lot more people coming back. I was born in the most beautiful village on earth, and I still think it is. If somebody needs help with something, you know, the people will always come and show up and I, I really like that I I embrace that and I think that's a big value is you know it's a value itself is just no lado no ladoness. <laughs>